All right, now we're recording. Very excited for this week. Upcoming week. Last week was amazing. But let's keep it going. Let's keep this keep this cycle going. Um, so this week I want to just go, I'm gonna dive right into it. You can see C E C L Ecolabing. Um, we played this a couple of months back. Couple of months back. I don't know exactly when, but um the main thing that stands out to me with this is the monthly chart. It's gorgeous. I mean, it's crazy extended, but this thing has crazy ranges. The monthly ranges is what stands out to me, but what really gets me is that 14 SMA bounce. This right here. So it looks like going into the next year, I mean, the 220s for April would be the smartest thing to play um, going forward. Please turn up your videos. Thanks. Um, Yes, so as you can see, it basically bounces off the 14 a lot on the monthly chart, and it's done, it's done it again. So now going into the new year, it looks like the new year is going to start green and targeting 227.78 red bar. Over 203, we should get 210, about 220. So for this trade, I'm not just looking at weeklies. I'm looking at 187.50 weeklies. I'm looking at next week's, not this week, coming up, the following week, Another two points above that. Following week after that, two points above that. But I want to play January with this. The calls are pretty freaking cheap. And I'm not talking about the weeklies. So if you guys are playing 190 weeklies, good luck. I'm going to be honest with you. Good luck with that. I say that because you guys want to know, oh, what strikes I'm looking at. Like I told you guys this before, I look at a lot of strikes. Doesn't mean I'm getting in yet. I like to wait. This one, I want to buy time. Um, I'll probably take some size for some April calls. They report in February, so this would that'll be a good catalyst for February. Should be around over 200 by February. Um, the monthly ranges are beautiful. 12 points last month, 14 before that, 17 before that, before that, 17 and 16. So we get an average, let's say around well, last month. Well, this was seven points. We're currently at four points, so another three points. So 190s for December would be smart. And that's with time. January 190s would be smart as well. Um, this is going to be a fun trade. And we're going to stay on top of this because this is going to present a lot of opportunities for us. I mean, despite market conditions, we just got to be prepared, be ready, know when to strike, know when to get out, you know. And if you buy in time, remember, always when we buy time, hedge weeklies too if you want. You can hedge weekly puts just to be safe, just to cover your position, your long-term position. But as you can see here, I like the 14 SMA support. I want to see it open back at one, what is this? 185.73. So since we're within this range, what I want to do right now, go inside. You guys have your levels. You guys got to learn how to draw your levels. I'm sorry, but like a lot of you have been here for like three weeks, two months. You guys are still asking me, what do I see? And I'm just like, I just don't even answer or respond. Why? Because it's it's... It's showing me that you're not paying attention. It's showing me you're not learning. I have people that have been here for two weeks and they're already learning. So it just, it's not about whose learning curve is faster, or who learns faster or whatever. It's who pays attention, you know? Um, and if you are taking hits on positions that we are not trading, I honestly don't want to hear about it because that is not my issue, my focus. My focus is to help you guys trade the chart, the trend, the 14, the 30, fibs, um, extension to retracements. You guys will, the reason I like the Celts when I started with the Celts, the Celts, the reason I started with Celts is because Celts was an easy read. Now I use 14 and 30 SMA because 14 and 30 SMA is the exact same thing as the Celts. And I try to tell you guys this, but you guys will learn that as time goes on. But ECL, top of my watch for this week. Um, next up we have LXRX. That move last week was amazing. Still, it still has a gap to fill. Targets are, are still there. I'm looking, I mean, it closed above 47, 479. That was very important for me too this week. Um, also 415 was important. Next target is 621. So we have time with that. 621 going for that one. I have the six, I have the six calls with time, um, a couple of months out. And I have the five calls and I already sold my four calls. So those have been rolled up already. So LXRX is, we're already in that position. Ulta. Very interesting. Our 270 calls did not work this week, but hey, it happens. So now I've basically 
rolled down into 275 calls. So I want to see us open around 260, 73. I'll probably take a loan position or add to my current position of the 275 calls and targeting 278.03 to 286.20, depending on how this moves this week. Um, but just keep that in mind. What I'm watching, I'm just, I want this level to hold. Weekly was nice, nice weekly move. Now we have a vacuum to 30 SMA, which is gonna possibly take two to three weeks. Maybe before that, maybe sooner, who knows. But my target this week is 278.03. So it bounced over that 260.73 to see what happens. I definitely don't want it to go inside on a weekly. I definitely don't want that. A net, another one we are in with time. We have two weeks on this position, um, 200 calls. I mean, as you guys can see, there's a vacuum that's needed on the 14 SMA. That sits around 210, 285, 210, 85, and 202, um, 10. So not this week. I want to see this week at least retest his last week's high. And if we could close above that, we're on target for 210 in the next three, two to three weeks. Looking for a big move. It's been in a crazy tight range. I don't know if it wants to move down once more, and then we go long and look at 200 calls for next year. Got to play that safe too as well. CCL, they're reporting not this week coming up, but the week after next. So get in position for that. We are still in position. They did it again. Something about these hammers they've been doing um, every week. It's just weird, but I like it. You know, um, they closed us above the 14 SMA. We got a vacuum to 4631, which is the 30 SMA on the weekly chart. We need a break above 4640, which also breaks a um, falling wedge. And we're on target for 53.29 next year, about two to three months out. That can work out for CCL. BKNG, that core play from last week made everybody money. And if you didn't make money from that, I have no idea, no clue what to tell you. But that trade worked perfectly. We have still had a vacuum going on for the 14 SMA. So that vacuum is sitting at 1964.93. And it should also have closed its gaps. But I like this a lot. I like this a lot. See the daily 1430 SMA. I want to see one more retrace back to 1916. I mean, but if they continue to keep it going and the 30 becomes the new support, then that's actually good. But we need to close above 1940.75 this week. Let's see what happens. All gaps have been filled except for the overhead, which is at 2,000. So 2,000 for next year, but on the next pullback. The next pullback should it be when it's actually ready. Big, 1,000%. This, this, this is the, I don't know what ER this is. This is the fourth ER we play this year that's returned this much. Um, Netties was the one that we got, I think, 2,000% off of it. Big, this gave us 1,000%. Um, the vacuum worked perfectly. But this was a vacuum for um, the fib retracement and extensions. I do this purple, um, this purple um, rectangle for a reason because I was doing a mimic with this one over here for this move off that red bar. And look exactly where it landed at, 2538. Now we need a break above that. We get that break above 2538. Target is 2673. Next year, 31. Overall target for this stock, I'm looking at 40 plus. And I'm talking about leaps, leaps, like 2021. But I like this overall, beautiful move. I want to see a nice continuation. Targeting 31s for whatever's after January 30s. But the 25s paid, the 2250s paid amazingly. GS, oh my God, this Friday's move was amazing. Still in a asymmetrical triangle, actually broke out and it closed above. So if anything, if we get a pullback and expect a pullback, expect it at this line at 22, at 222, that level. I don't care what anybody says, this has paid very, very well. And everybody knows when I play GS, I play GS. Fridays are my favorite time to play GS. Very clean charts, remains clean. Everything's in focus. Next overhead would be around 231. I'm still targeting 240. This is my target 240 here. And we can actually add a extension there for it as well. I'll put it to here as high as this one. We topped out, came back down all the way to 180.77. So breakout is 227.71, targeting 238.79 by early February. So I'm going to create an alert for that. 
But when it hits this 238, it's going to actually come back to 227. We'll find support there. Maybe even come all the way back to 222. But this is very important. It's like a cup and handle. Depends on how you, how you see fit. Guild has just been an animal. It's been an animal and it's ready. It's ready. It's ready. And we've been talking about it for a long time. It's been paying crazy. I like the fact they have us above the asymmetrical triangle. Asymmetrical triangles is my, one of my favorite bullish setups. Triangles work because they can work up or they can work down. If it breaks below, it has continuation down. It breaks above, continuation higher. Plus, with the Fib extensions and Fib retracements in play, as you can see here, that 65.96 was very important. Then we closed at 67.07. That's another very important level. I want to see what they're going to do. Are they going to open us down this week? But targeting 68, this week can work as well. Let's just see what happens. But Gil is definitely in my long term. My targeting for this is 71, 78. Still got 70 in target for December. Ending. Knock is coming back to terms. Um, still developing something. I don't know exactly what's going on with it right now. But um, still needs time. It's creating a nice falling wedge. Actually, it's creating a nice asymmetrical triangle too. I do like it. I love knock. Knock pays very well when it's ready. It's had some weird action the the last two um weeks. But Friday, I think there was a two forty, the three forty seven. They paid very well. And then if you went short for the three forty fives end of day, you could have got paid as well with that too. So right now we're holding below three forty eight ninety eight. So I put an alert for three forty eight ninety eight. And a close above that on two confirmed candles on a daily. Then we have upside to go back to 378.42. But currently, we're still trading below the 14 and 30 SMA. Weekly, uh, still, a little, still a little bit iffy on a weekly chart. But I like that hammer off the 30, so that's pretty cool. It closed right above the 30. Um, we just got to get above that 348.98. So looking at 350 calls this week is possible, but the smartest thing to do is play the 347.50s, 352.50s next week as three, or 357s next week as well. Not this week coming up, but the following week. I mean, that's it for now for, for everything. As far as SPY goes, I mean, we just play SPY as we do. I tell you guys, we just do what we do every day. Play same, same, same day expiry always, unless we have time. Our 312s expire tomorrow, so don't forget that. That hammer, they guys had 315.01. Next target is 319.79, but we got to get over 317.40 and then 319.79. But it's getting very interesting. The only thing that's, that's, gun, that's going to get me is if this is a red week, we are going short. We are 100% looking for 312 puts if we can't get above 315.01. And that's two confirmed candle closes by Wednesday above that level. You can see it's a lot. There's, there's going to be a lot of resistance here. And this is a weekly chart at that. But you guys can see that freaking move was just fantastic. Nobody really saw that coming. I didn't. Definitely didn't. But I love it. And that's it for now. I mean, I have to pack up and do everything like that, but I wanted to give you guys a little breakdown for going into this week, what we, to, what to expect, what to watch. Um, we did ANET. Yes, I did ANET as well. This ECL, BKNG, BIG, LXRX, ECL, NOC. And then as time goes on, we'll get into other things as well. Oh, BYND is another. That one stays on my list. I'm just still watching it. I got to see it confirmed this week. Let me stop this.